Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. Sun plainly evident on your West Shore home first alert Skycam network this early Friday afternoon and with the flags outside Vineland Station here in White Bull we can discern a southwest breeze flow as a cold front approaches this afternoon. That front is going to switch up our wind flow this weekend to the west and northwest and hook us up with our next round of chilly nights, especially you're going to see some 40s take over for the nights in much of the seven day forecast. Keeping with the camera network, though, we'll move to the Murkison building view in downtown Wilmington, where we've got a bunch of sun here in the lunch hour and some cumulus clouds are trying to gain some traction in the sky. Those are the type to eventually build up and be associated with showers and storms. So keep your umbrella handy despite the dry look to everything right now. Things are going to be changing before dinner time. Uh, the dew point temperature a higher than it's been, but not astronomically muggy 55 all over the map. Air temperatures just like the port city situated in the lower and middle 70s and here are your westerlies and southwesterlies a lot of double digit miles per hour wind flow. To the radar we go, our core counties and communities ahead of showers and some embedded storms. They are in the sand hills, and I can show you a broader perspective of that and add the satellite layer for the associated cloud cover. So this front doing a good job of ringing out some shower and storm activity. Fast forward to 3 p.m. I think it makes sense that it's moving into our corner of Carolina, so maybe pick up or drop off depending on your perspective after school and activities. Uh, you need to be watching for some of these through drive time, through dinner time, Friday night football even. Yeah, some games could be impacted. Trailing showers just about to move out. If not, they will have completely moved out as we get into hours like 11 p.m. midnight and we're just chugging along here, not turning back through dry skies Saturday and also Sunday and temperatures are going to be nice and agreeable. So on your weekend activity outlook is kind of like a report card for activities of sorts. I definitely have a fall flare with pumpkin picking and oyster roasting. Note those sunsets though. Mm, yeah, they crossed that 630 threshold this weekend, getting earlier and earlier. More metrics on your weekend. And into the seven day forecast, a lot of 0% rain chance days. And to reiterate that point I made earlier, some deep down 40s nights for temperatures, extra blanket on the bed kind of stuff here in October. Quickly catching you up with Tammy. It was a tropical storm this morning. Now this situation is uh, stronger. East of the Caribbean islands, Tammy is a category one hurricane. Kim, I expect Tammy will affect some of these northeastern islands and likely stay well to the east of the Carolinas next week. We'll keep eyes on it in any case. Back to you. All right, Gannon, it's safe sleep in SIDS awareness.